Good morning, Gerald Lennick with you here at Green Sky Adventures Incorporated. I want to make a, uh, uh, a point this morning. Uh, sometimes when we get the HKS engines in here for service, depending on the vintage, there's various checks that we need to make. In uh, one such situation, here we have an engine that was serviced in another shop and uh, without going into the gory details, the outcome wasn't uh, good. And we received the engine with no documentation basically, very little operation history and no service history. So we need to leave no stern stone left unturned. This is uh, engine serial number 101009. And uh, prior to engine 1012009, the timing gear on the crankshaft, that small gear here, was not keyed to the crankshaft. It was just a, a taper fit. And uh, when the timing is set on the engine, uh, we uh, align timing dots, and uh, uh, we see that there's a dot there on the, on the cam gear and dot on the timing gear. And when these are in alignment, we'd like to have the, the mag side cylinder, that's the, the cylinder away, f away from the propeller end, uh, at top dead center. Now, to, we need to make this check on this vintage engine, and we do this on on other engines prior to 1012-1209 uh, uh, and uh, if you're servicing your own HKS engine or for other shops are doing this, this is a check that needs to be made. We simply just set the crank case up with a dial indicator in one of the 8mm holes here and uh, land the dial indicator on the throw of the PTO crank. So when that is at bottom dead center, the mag cylinder will be at top dead center. And, uh, and that's what we've done here. And at top dead center, we've verified that uh, the, the mag throw is top dead center. Timing marks are aligned, so there's been no slippage on this gear. Now, I don't want to cause any panic. If you have an engine that's prior to, to 1209, uh, don't feel like you've got something, you get, it's like a, a, a time bomb going off. Uh, there's been, on rare circumstances, under extreme conditions, during crashes, hard prop strikes, over revs, and who knows what all, there have been a, a few that have, have been observed that had slipped. If you have one that slipped, the crankshaft has to be replaced. So obviously, uh, this, it's, it's not a, a big deal if there's not a problem, but if there's a problem, you do have to replace the crankshaft. And that'll be all until the next time. Take care now.